special Monday night jewels breaks. We are doing the Timeline 18, 19, 20 Panini Diamond Kings uh, mixer number one. It was a random. Here are your teams. We did have one trade. The Cardinals were traded for the Diamondbacks. And yeah, that was all Ryan, UCCF. He actually had him set up taller, um, but the light was re reflecting too much and it was annoying. So how? what order am I doing these in? Just whatever? Just pulling them off the top? Let's just do pure calamity tonight. I mean, this is a Monday night break. What do we expect? Okay. Just madness. Madness. All right. Madness it is. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, Ryan is in a mood tonight. It's good. He'll he'll make up for my dull. Come on, it's Diamond Kings. I mean, you can't get hyped for Diamond Kings. What can you get hyped for? Watch nice. Sam open some Dynasty or something. Jeez, how boring. All right, what am I doing here? This is too low. Too low, too high. Here we go. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. Robert, rookie. Who has the White Sox? Nasty. I would say K-Nasty. I call him K-Nasty. I go with Nasty. Well, it makes sense. I just... It's once a sign K. Once I've started something, I kind of just stick with it. Can't, can't get out of the habit. Sandoval, silver frame or gray frame? It is K-Nasty? Okay. We'll okay, good. Because that's what I've always said, so... All right, this is too low. Gallery of the Stars. I love those. So colorful. So what are the ones we don't have yet? Aurora. We need that. We need some of those, like, super rare. Ooh, that's nice. Logan Allen. I forgot how nice these, uh... Dual memorabilia. A little uh, pinstripe action. Yeah, it's a um, patch. Pixel art. Pixel art's the other one we need. It's a patch, actually. Number to 99, Logan Allen for Cleveland. It is a patch. Is that a chunk? Next 10. Mm, yeah, a little bit of chunk. Yeah. Very pretty. So who was it that actually pulled an Aurora? Was that you, JMBB? I remember seeing that online. I guess on the uh, Facebook group. Oh, what do we have there? Well, I, I don't know that Parietal word. Parietal art? Parietal? Parietal? This is new. My hand's shaking so bad. I haven't seen one of those yet. Who had... Oh, Arizona. there's the trade. Yep, UCCF. Super rare insert. What does that word mean? Someone want to educate me on that? Give me a... Di dic diction... Definite dictionary definition. Vocabulate it. Yeah. See, this is why I'm not talking. I don't have it today. Bridal lobe of the brain. So it's like a brain chip. I just like the. Uh, it's like K bar back there. You didn't even look at the background, did you? No, I did. But how about this Bobachette? Well, that's even better. It's beautiful. Twenty or twenty-five. Very pretty. Very colorful. Toronto, Boston, Steve. Super nice quad patch. This one is like a glove, I think, because it's leather. And then the, the two pinstripes, and then that looks like a, I don't know, a sock or a wristband or something. Super neat. I like that one. It's like some absolute memorabilia type stuff there. Super <laughs> sweet. Nasty. It is not. I mean, I guess it could be. Of or relating to the walls of a part or cavity. Well, so what's the point? It's like cave art in the background. You see that? Yeah, I see a deer or some kind of figure. Some beastie. Well, this already started out being a uh, nice box. Huh. It's kind of odd. Neat, yeah, cave painting. Odd. Now we get these again. This is good stuff. Oh, yeah, no, we don't have a trash box. All it's right. in the hallway, but I guess we'll be fine. It's just one break. Well, apparently it's okay to just throw it on the floor, so that's what we'll do. For 
have one break, we can do it. One break? I want to do more of these. I'll be biased. What is the frame? I can't read it. What, silver frame or gray frame? It's a gray frame. Gray frame. Thank you. Yeah, I'd say we do one more of these. A plum frame, Joe McCarthy. Run this back on Thursday. Uno mas. Gavin Lux, rookie. So we're going from 20 to 18. If I could turn back time. Go to start that. You are super hyped. I'd be really hyped if we could get some 2004, 2005 Diamond Kings. Yeah. That's good stuff. Short print, Otani. High number, whatever it is. <laughs> if I could find a way. I'm going to start singing that song now. Uh, Gallagher, Artist Proof, number 299 for Kansas City. Shooter, Artist Proof, 299, Gallagher. Yep. <laughs> Is Otani in this stuff? No. Kirby Puckett, Red Frame, from Minnesota. Got some gray frames, some plum frames, some red frames. Nolan uh, Ryan, short print. I thought that was a thick card. I was getting excited. Nope. Ryan Express, nickname. Ship it. Was there a black and white? Oh, you're naming all the things. I hope that's what you're doing. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get psyched about those. Oh my god, a tiny variation. Remember how thrilling that was? Like that first case? We thought it was the most loaded yeah. case we've ever seen in our entire lives. Yeah. We got six different versions of Otani. It's like, nah, 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 it's Ooh. Box. Dylan Peters, rookie material signatures, two patches on that one. Shiny patches. Okay, 15 of 15. Chomps. It's a blue foil parallel. Who had Miami? Oh man, that's a combo team. Tiny team. Shooter. Dylan Peters, 15 of 15. Tiny team glory. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's what UCCF said. Yep. Jinx. Said first. Actually, I'm pretty sure UCCF said it first. You didn't say Jinx. Oh. High number Austin Hayes. Go on, butter. Oh, what is up? Look at that top loader. I mean, look, look at this quality. We can't. It's like missing half the. Ah. I'm right, letter. Aurora Mookie Vets. The 18 Aurora. He hits on a roll. Get myself fired tonight. No. You're not that lucky. Paul Wander. Red frame. Aww. Oh, Jinx. Clemente, uh, this is the photo variation, right? Yep. Yeah. So it has that crazy frame on the back. Fired up. To Pittsburgh. He's got Pittsburgh. Red Fox. Clemente photo variation. Did any of you guys, I don't think any of you did, but did any of you guys watch uh, SmackDown? It was SmackDown we were watching, right, yesterday? It was SmackDown. 
SmackDown from Friday. <gasps> What's this? Aaron Judge, DK Materials for Yankees and my car guy. Not inky. That was gonna be extra inky. It's not a spoiler or anything, um, but Bailey and Sasha came out to do commentary with um, Michael Cole and Corey. It was right, Michael Cole and Corey, right? I think that's who it is. Anyway, so Bailey and oh man, to ninety nine uh, Walker Bueller, gray frame. Uh, so they came running out to go do commentary, and uh, <laughs> Corey goes, uh -huh. uh, "Oh, let me guess, you're here to see my manager, <laughs> or you see the manager?" <laughs> and I almost died. I don't know why I found it so funny, but God, that haircut is just. Even though they tried to shorten it and make it better, it didn't help it her at all. So, yeah, he just straight up asks Bailey when she gets to the table if she's there to see the manager. <laughs> oh, it just struck me as so funny. Yeah. I didn't say Mr. Manager. My manager, I think is what I said. Maybe it was just see the manager. That face. David Wright crowning moment. I was used to CF's face when he saw he got the Cardinals. <laughs> Get rid of it. Oh, that wasn't a spoiler. That's what, If it was a spoiler, I wouldn't have said it. It's a spoiler. You can call yourself Paul Heyman. Oh, Lord. Uh, Ortiz, dual memorabilia for Baltimore. Base cards matter. <laughs> Ruin the whole episode. Come on. Come on. Packs don't like me. Jackie Robinson, plum frame. Oh, then it's kind of a spoiler. Because it was pretty funny. I laughed so hard. Looks like he's going to break his neck. Patrick Wisdom, high number. Yeah. I just wasn't expecting him to say something like that, and I laughed so hard. Ooh, artist proof. Artist proof crowning moment. Beltray. The other thing that's making me laugh these days, and I was going to bring it up. I don't think I brought it up yet. The Is it Geico? No. Allstate? The, it's not a duck, Dad. It's oh, a vulture. That's Geico. Geico. Oh my God! The commercial with the duck with the turtles. Every time I hear it, I laugh. I mean, I'm starting to get over it, but the first like 15 times, I laughed every time. Yeah, the there's a dad and his son. They're turtles, and they're outside, and they're talking about RVs. Joe Carlos Stanton, Plum Frame. And the guy's explaining to his son that humans have this new technology or whatever that we have started uh, bringing our homes with us, you know, as an RV. And the guy's like, and the little boy, the little sun turtle's like, well, we've always done that, Dad, or something. I don't really know what the point of that part is. But anyway, so they're talking about how the insurance could protect um, the RVs or whatever. And all of a sudden... A, Feather falls down in between them. Hey, what about that? A Frank Ooh. Thomas, six of seven. One of the 206, or 205, I'm sorry. And it's a blue hollow. Jeez. Big hurt. That is so nice. The card, not the story. No, I got it. Yeah, that is so, so cool. How about these mixers? Oh, uh, who's got that? K Nasty. We've got some. What you gonna find in these? Nice and two nice patches. Number to seven. Uh, Frank Thomas. Fantastic mixer. Anyway, we'll just go through the end of that really quick. So 
A feather falls down. The dad says, uh, duck, son, or duck, or something like that. And the little boy goes, dad, that's not a duck. That's a vulture. <laughs> so it just, anyway. for some reason, my stupid humor thought it's the funniest thing ever. And I'm not someone who usually laughs at commercials. I usually do not even watch them. But that one is hilarious. It's not a duck, Dad. That's a vulture. There is an actual vulture. Can't, yeah, there's an actual vulture. You just gotta see it. It's... Yeah, the feather falls down, and it's a vulture standing above them. So the dad sees it and says, duck, duck, son. And he's like, that's not a duck, Dad. That's a vulture. It's funny. You know how breaker stories are. My, I can't tell stories anyway. I'm the worst at telling stories. Plus, we got interrupted by Frank Thomas, six of seven. Kind of ruined it. That was way more exciting. Caleb Ferguson, Plum Frame. And story doesn't really matter now. Well, we could have called him the big unit. <laughs> I think, I feel like we just... But I was going to let Sam just uh, yeah. move on past that one. Just watch the commercial. I mean, it's not going to be funny anymore now that I butchered it, but it was one of the few commercials that I really like. This one feels thick. I'm just disappointed we lost that video, okay, Nasty? All-time CSP Classic. Zach Collins. More beef. It's in 99. Looks really nice, too. He's got a decent autograph on that. White Sox again. K. Nasty. Zach Collins in 99. I can almost guarantee Jules has not seen Pulp Fiction. No. I have definitely not seen it. Gavin Lux rookie. Don't you come on me. That's gotta that's gotta be like a that's a violent movie, right? No. Yeah, it's terrible. Terribly violent. Don't tell me that. Uh plum frame Billy Williams. That's the Chris Evans card. I can't unsee it now. Yeah, it's all it is. Tim, welcome. So many inserts and short prints. It does. Oh, Alvarez, rookie. Still, do you just send me a clip of the ketchup joke? I don't. I don't think I need to see that movie. Definitely doesn't seem like something I'm going to enjoy. Diaz, gray frame? You may. No. Nope. Never know. But not until you tried it. I, I don't even like the name of that scene. Ketchup joke? No, injection. Oh, that's different. Oh, Robert, rookie, and a Jersey Kings Juan Soto for Washington. UCCF, Juan Soto. Oh, gross. <laughs> now I'm not sure I want to know it even more. Oh, you know you're extra intrigued at this I point. am slightly intrigued. True. Let me see that. Kind of want to know what we're talking about. Pow! Right in the undercarriage. Rios, gray frame. Back to some Otani.
These are so hard to open. Jeez. Those always squeak, remember? Yeah. Just making fart noises and squeaks. What's going on here? Pee Reese. Photo variation. Never seen Kill Bill. I don't know if I've seen any of his movies, actually. No Braves yet. But we are not even halfway. Jeff Hoffman for Colorado, numbered in 299. Materials signatures. But we do have a Rocky set for JMBB. JMBBB. To ninety nine, Max Freed framed for Atlanta. See, it doesn't really matter if the violence looks real or not to me. It's more is the scenario something that could happen and is it twisted and like evil like the chance of it happening in reality is definitely part of it Longoria high number chance of it happening or the chance of it happening to you no it doesn't matter if it happens to me it's the fact that it could happen is it plausible is it plausible and is it twisted and when you add those things together like I'll I just can't I can't do that Yeah, I can't. Yeah, anything that's like torturous or I don't know any of those things. I just they really mess with me. I don't like it. Pee Wee Reese, red frame. I'm so sensitive. <laughs> no, okay, nasty. Reese Hoskins, high number, uh, black and white. For the Phillies, JMBBB. Watch it with the brownie and some ice cream. Speaking of brownies, and a much better topic, uh, have you guys tried the new fudge brownie M&Ms? You just bought them because the package is purple. Kind of, yes. Greg Maddox, Jersey Kings for Atlanta. There's a the Braves hit. Hokey. Greg Maddox, Jersey King. They are good. They're actually really good. Really good. Like, real, really good. Really, really good. I did a thing. Well, that's good. And, yeah, they're they're worth trying if you like. I mean, they taste like brownies. They really do. Ichiro, high number. All right, K-Nasty, how many pizzas have you had so far? Six? Seven? Some greasy cheeseburgers. Get a cup of grease on the side. Aurora McCutcheon. Oh, I gotta know, did you just go all out afterwards just to celebrate, or was there kind of a wait and see period? There's been very few of the new M&Ms that I like. I will always be a peanut butter M&M first person, though. Kershaw, red frame. One full pizza and ice cream. It goes like peanut butter regular peanut then what about the caramel ones eh, i'm not as big on the caramel ones they're good but they'd be after brownie okay. i really like mint m&ms who said mint somebody said mint brad did yeah the mint m&ms are really good but peanut butter is always going to be my number one crispy. the crispy ones are good i just never get them the caramel ones didn't taste like caramel they were just kind of chewy. Yeah, they just, they weren't as good as they should have been. Uh, a crowning moment, plum frame, Giambi. Sandwich perch. I like the peanut M&Ms. I love, peanut's probably my number three. It would go peanut butter, regular peanut. Well, I just recently oh. learned about the miracle that's say Mr. Goodbar. Oh my God. 
Like, that was... My dad got those all the time as a kid. Ryan had never had a, a Mr. Good Bar. Didn't know what it was. Selling, like, Mr. Good Bar? Like, what's so good about this? It's just peanuts and chocolate and then, oh, 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 oh baby. Another 205? Oh, could, what is this? Oh, could be a... Oh, I thought it was two stuck together. But it's still another uh, 205 auto. Uh, Kyle Tucker, not bad at all. 9 of 25. Chatty P. 9 of 25 for Chatty P. I don't think I had the hazelnut, but I bet it's good. Be like little Nutella M&Ms. I had, I was fine with the coffee ones. I got some, a little bag of them. Alex Bregman, Grayback, or Silver, Silverback? Grayback. Hope it's Grayback. Yeah, Grayback. I think that's gray. It's not a gorilla. Right. <laughs> I don't remember maple. Oh, if we're just going to start talking about other things, like Oreos, we're going to go back to the white fudge Oreos are still the best thing ever. Maple. Uh, Tony Gwynn, Jersey Kings for San Diego. Hold on. Forget Tony Gwynn for a minute. What's this maple Brad Oreo? PC. I don't remember maple. Oh, blizzards are just going to get me angry. Ryan can't stand getting blizzards from Dairy Queen because they never have the topping all the way through them. Yeah, you order up whatever blizzard and you get like half a blizzard with the stuff mixed in and the bottom's just vanilla ice cream. Kyle Freeland Plum. I have to either order a bigger one and just don't eat the bottom or I'll ask them for like double stuff or whatever. Like, come on, mix it up already. Put in a little effort. <laughs> Hi, never Kershaw. Carrot cake Oreos? Yeah. No. At my office, before, you know, not having an office anymore, we used to do uh, Fridays. We would bring around a thing of Oreos for everybody to try the new flavor. So I've tried almost all of the Oreos, I think. Cal Wright, Artist Proof. Apparently not maple, and you haven't told me about these. I thought he said maple M&Ms. No, we were talking about maple Oreos. No. That's why my mind was blown. I didn't. I don't think I had that one. Oh, we have gone to Culver's. And Culver's has a... Oh, what it's called? Party Pack. I couldn't say it in the drive-thru the other day. Oh my god, it was so funny. It's called like a Pint Party 4-Pack or something. Yeah. I got up to the drive-thru. I sound like Porky Pig. I want that pint, 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 pint. <laughs> Ice cream, please. <laughs> I had no idea what the thing was oh called. Oh, my God. It was embarrassing. It was a little, It was slightly embarrassing, but it was funny to me. Why is my camera so off? I don't remember Maple Oreos. Party Pint 4-Pack. Yeah. Lindor, high number. He likes the... What is yours called? Caramel cookie dough? Salted caramel cookie dough? Or... Caramel cookie fudge, dough, caramel. but I don't know. Car they just fudge. basically take any type of sugary snack they got and put it into a can of diabetes and I choke that thing down. It's amazing. It's like fudge caramel cookie dough. It was a flavor of the week. I call it flavor of the year. Chipper Jones Plum for Atlanta. I, yeah, no, Brad. I remember it and I would never have even tried it. Disgusting. Oh, yeah. Basically, what's that, uh, what's the drink? Fancy drink that everybody has these days that you Boba always or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. It was old school version of that. Disgusting. Can't even. I don't even want to think about that. I don't even think about that. Yeah. No trying anything now that I'm home. The problem with Orbits is that the drink itself was kind of thick. It's one thing to have the floating balls in it, but then to have like the thick, you know, viscous, it's like pouring out syrup Stop. almost. Stop. Walker Bueller, black and white, high number. For the Dodgers, Aaron Lee. That's a nice one. That one gets top loaded. Yeah, viscous balls. You've never seen the... Pineapple lifesavers. <laughs> Ahmed Rosario DK Materials for the Mets Birchfield 
Oh, yeah. Jolt? Is Jolt the one that's back? No, it's Surge that's back. Surge, yeah. I remember Jolt. I never had Jolt. I definitely did. I don't know if I could get along with Jolt. But I was always a Dr. Pepper person growing up. Mr. Pibb. Sorry, Mr. Pibb, not Dr. Pepper. J.D. Martinez, Red Frame. Yeah, I wish we could post more, but we still have like 8,000 Series 2 cards to sort. I don't remember Green River. Yeah, we gotta get some more product in. Otani, high number. For the Angels, Boston Steve. Hey, Steve Boston Steve. Come Wine Steve flavored, up. and it's amazing. Never had clear Pepsi. I had clear Sprite. I think I had... Uh, I don't think I had clear Pepsi either. I do like lime flavored things. Green River. What is Green River? That's what I asked. Apparently it's a soda. Midwestern drink. I like, uh, what's the soda I get when I go down to Southern Illinois? This is a miscut. Ooh, what happened there? Red frame of Verlander. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Ski. Ski, yeah. I love Cherry Sprite. I like Ginger Sprite and Cherry Sprite. When UCCF flies to St. Louis, we'll pick them up at the airport and give them the food tour. Ecto Cooler. That was like... Ecto Cooler was amazing. Was it, wasn't it in like Capri Sun though, or whatever? It yeah, was like it was one of the it was it wasn't like a his own brand, C. was it? No, it was a high C drink, wasn't oh, it? Oh, that's what it was, high C. Ecto Cooler was amazing. I never had that one. Love it. I've got a buddy at work who makes a Hey Carson Kelly. I was gonna say I thought that was Yacht. Material signature to two ninety nine. For Hippie. That's that's trade. I've got a buddy at work who makes a Ecto Cooler drink for Halloween that is heavily spiked, but it tastes just like the original High C Ecto Cooler drink. It is amazing. High number Margot for San Diego. Yeah, the Tropical Remix Sprite is really good too. Basically, all sprites are really good. That's... The LeBron Sprite was my favorite. Yeah. Then Cranberry Sprite would be number two. Oh, yeah, Cranberry Sprite. Then I'll go to Ginger Sprite. I like that one. Then we'll Aurora go with the Sprite Ichiro. Remix. Coming in at number four. I don't know. I think Cherry might be really far up there. Well, that'll be number five. That'll round out the top five. Oh, man. I keep moving the camera. What is that, uh, Birch? Oh, Tiny Red Frame. Birch is talking crazy talk. What is that? Intrigued. Did you blow out your shoulder? To, yeah, I'm just trying to hold it for a second. Call in a reliever. She's like, uh, no. No. <laughs> Kid me? You're already talking too much. I don't want you touching the cards. Talking so much. Purple passion? No. Kool-Aid flavor? No, I definitely don't remember that. But then again, my parents didn't let me have Kool-Aid. I've talked about this before. I find it hilarious that my mom would make Country Time Lemonade, but wouldn't let me have uh, Kool-Aid. It's the same thing. There's no difference. We had the Country Time Lemonade. We yeah. always had the pink lemonade. Yeah, the pink one, yeah. yeah. Who wants that plain yellow lemonade? Oh. We had both. But still, what's the difference between Country Time Lemonade and Kool-Aid? Nothing. Water, plum frame. About a buck fifty. So was, um, what was the the chocolate stuff? Oh, Ovaltine. That was a huge deal back then. I remember. I remember, but I never had that. Either. I never had it. Mm -mm. We had just regular chocolate milk and stuff. But we didn't even have that. Ovaltine was... We, I used to make cho my own chocolate milk. We didn't buy chocolate milk in my house. We all made it with Hershey's. Yeah. Our drink options Sarah. growing up were uh, tap water. High number, uh, Patrick Wisdom. Tap water with ice. Uh, sun tea. My mom would make sun tea. And then the pink lemonade would be kind of the treat. Lemonade, milk, chocolate milk. 
Hose water was Sometimes good, Sometimes soda. Oh, lots of hose water. Loved hose for water. For sure. <laughs> Can't go outside without having hose water. And it was always so hot when you first turned it on. Mm-hmm. Ugh, gross. Chris Bryant, Bat Kings for the Cubbies, UCCF. Sun tea's not a thing, right? You guys are just talking about when you people used to put the tea in the thing and set it outside. You set it out in the sun. But it's not really it. a sun tea. It's like Lipton or whatever. No, you put the you put the tea bags and stuff in it. I and remember. It, it has to cook in the sun. Yeah, but you're calling it sun tea. That's not a name. That's just what you called it. Josh James Plum Frame. Yeah, it's boiled by the sun. You have to cook it in the sun. Cook it. <laughs> cook is just apparently any term for heating something up. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't say you nuked it. You didn't put it in the microwave. They called it sun tea? I don't remember that. Yeah, sun tea. I've never heard someone's call it that. I don't know if I want a single weekend without my mom making sun tea on the back porch. I still don't think sun tea's a thing. It's iced tea, right? I mean, it's iced tea. Well, it's, you you turn just it, made it outside. You turn it into iced tea, but it's made in the sun. Arias for San Diego. Arias Autograph. Uh, Brad PC. Yeah, exactly. Sun tea is in the dictionary. Hey, next. Did anyone ask you <laughs> to prove me wrong? No. No. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Sun tea is totally a thing. Uh. <laughs> that was every weekend growing up. Sun tea on the back porch. My brother and I got to play uh, Nerf gun fights or whatever and Kikuchi drink the hose high water. number. Oh, well, my dad cut the grass and yelled at us to help. That was life. Yeah, I guess I just never heard of Sun Tea. <laughs> Vladimir Guerrero. Daddy Vladdy. Vladdy Daddy, however you said it. Uh, Plum Frame. That's Daddy Vladdy. Daddy Vladdy. Can't confuse him with uh, Vladdy Jr. Gotta have a way to differentiate the two. Yeah, Vladdy Daddy. <laughs> he told me I wasn't allowed to say that. I don't remember. Is that Omni? Someone hated it. So I couldn't say Vladdy Daddy. Yeah. Crowning Daddy Moment Vladdy. Trout. Omni. Yeah. <laughs> Had to have been Omni. He is not here. Or is he? He's at least not talking. Is he starting? There's a Jose Reyes crowning moment artist proof. Yeah, Where's the numbering? Artist, the artist proofs prior to 2020 oh, were not numbered it? unless it was a blue foil parallel thingy to 25. Well, thank you. But they are still relatively rare. So they get top loaded. Steven yeah. Duggar high number. We've got artist proof from every year now. It was supposed to rain here. I was told it was going to rain this morning, and it didn't. I was told we were going to have severe, horrible storms around 3 o'clock, and it's bright and sunny out. It's supposed to storm tonight, too. Yeah, well, I've heard that about four times today, and nothing has happened, so I'm preparing for a letdown. Do you have any mail to go through? Hmm. You're that desperate for us to stay? It's like, post another one of these. (laughs) Uh, I can jump on my other channel. I don't want to stay on here. I don't know how to say his name. Keen? Keen? I don't know. For Detroit. Gray frame. (laughs) Keen? Peachy Keen. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Ryan is like this. He's just not usually like this during breaks. So I don't know what's gotten into him. Well, the sorter's job is to sit down, shut up, and sleep cards. So I do my job. Oh. And Justin Dunn. It's a nice autograph. Dun, 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 dun. Seattle. It's really pretty. I like this a lot. Uh, MW. Justin Dunn. Cranky Frank Thomas. All right, talking to some people the other day, I just need to pull the group and see if anybody would be interested in this if we have the opportunity to do it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So just a little uh, 
Need some feedback on this one. It's going to be like two people that are like, yeah. It might only be two people, and that's fine. We just need to know. Would anybody here want to do a Pokemon break? Oh, man, hold on. Brad Kings, Fernando Tatis Jr. For San Diego, Brad. Brad PC, Fernando Tatis Jr. Okay, you can continue talking now. Oh, this is terrible. Poor Verlander. I know we had some people that were asking about doing a Pokemon break. And I think we found a way to make it fun and affordable and doable and uh, all the ables that we're supposed to have to make it work. Alvarez Rookie. But the last thing we want to do is order a bunch of Pokemon boxes and then find out only two people want to do it. <laughs> Pass. Forget that. And with the worldwide Pokemon Go Fest coming up at the end of June, we are going to try to make a big event out of it and do, you know, giveaways. Kino Rookie. And fun Pokemon themed stickers and trinkets and all sorts of stuff. So. Uh, Diamond King Gray Frame. Randy Johnson for Arizona. Yeah, we are UCCF. So I think we've got about five or six people that want to do it. Yelich, Plum Frame for Milwaukee. It won't take a lot of us. <clears throat> no, it's, it's only going to be about 10 to 12 spots, I think. Yeah, I would do it. It's it's inexpensive, and you should be able to do it from wherever you are. Mendic Rookie. I don't think you've ever been able to say that one with that little smirk in your voice. Mm-hmm. You don't ha I don't think you have to leave your house, but I would. I mean, yeah, you can just sit there with the incense going. All right, Toxic. Thanks for showing up for a bit. See ya. See what happens when I talk. I'll keep walk. You made UCCF happy. That's all that matters, right? And do hard black and white high number. Yankees and my car guy. Make one person happy and scare three more away. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, UCCF. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I'd like to do a Pokemon break once. It wouldn't be like a regular thing, just every once in a while, just for fun. Uh, Beretto to 99. Material Beretto. signatures for Oakland. Big Greg. Yeah. It would just be a fun thing to do. This is just not too expensive. And like you said, I could do like fun stickers and maybe a giveaway with it or something. It'd be fun. High number Calhoun for Texas. Not going to be a full-time thing. Not going to replace any other breaks. Just a little add-on something for fun once or twice. Oh, it's a thing. It's really popular still. Yeah, it's mostly older people. You're probably too young. <laughs> uh, Otani Aurora. I'd say it's mostly people 30 to 50 playing these days. Yeah. What I see. For sure. They called me old man. <laughs> well, Cronin. I'd say we are probably Red the youngest. We're the youngest, I'd say. Here. There's a few younger, but I'd say most of the people are in their fifties, early sixties, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mickey Mantle, high number oh that's not a high number, it's a short print. Photo variation. Photo variation. Super obnoxious. Yeah, there really aren't too many kids playing. 
That or they just we just don't see them somehow. Jeez. Carlos Correa, Jersey Kings. For Houston, Chatty P. Correa, Jersey King. Just for funsies, look at this. The Graham. There you go, UCCF. That's cool. Lots of variations. So many Otanis in this. I downloaded TikTok twice. I've deleted it twice after a week. I'm going to try not to go back to it. I could I could just spend hours on that app. I can't have it. Margo, Red Frame for San Diego. This it's I just can't add another social media to my life. Oh, I don't like people who do that, UCCF. Yeah, you say that, Birch. Frazier, high number. Everybody always says that. They're like, oh, you know, this app is reading everything you do. Everything is reading everything you do. If you have a Google account, if you have a YouTube account, if you have a phone, a phone, if you have like any, everything knows everything. There's no hope anymore. Just don't say things you don't want people to hear. That's really my motto. Yeah, the, you're, you've lost privacy battle completely. Yeah, exactly. If you have a smartphone, it's over. Uh, Jackie Robinson, Red Frame. Yeah, don't do things that are bad or <clears throat> terrible, and then if someone catches you, it's so well. You know what? I believe you, K Nasty. I can see it doing that. Oh no! It they do know everything. 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 I I get ads for e everything I talk about. It's the creepiest thing. But oh well, that's where we'll be living. <laughs> it's kind of cool in the sense that I am being advertised things that are applicable to my life, oh, yeah. but it's creepy because I know it's listening to me. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Dakota oh. Hudson, pretty patches. In my Forty-five face. of forty-nine, hippie. Looks like gold foil on that. Dakota Hudson. Dakota. Yeah, same UCCF. <laughs> Where are those Rizzo's, Rizzo's going? Joey Votto, crowning moment, plum frame. Oh, box and a half left. Oh, come on. Jose Ramirez, high number. And a Guerrero. Um, great back. Spit it out eventually. You can get there. <laughs> yeah, I laughed at your joke. That was the weirdest thing. We had all the base laid out. I'm going through all those to try to get them sorted into team sets. Matt Carpenter, artist proof for Hippie. And I pick up that card and I'm like, this is a thick base card. And I flip it over and it's got a different back. Sure enough, that autograph was stuck to it. And it was stuck stuck. It wasn't just like Barely touching it. But did not appear to be damaged. It's all good. Yeah, I knew some fun would be had with that when it was Tim Mays. Miles Straw, Plum Frame. Nothing's worse than being shorted a hit and a break. Yeah, that it's happened, but rare. It's very rare, actually. It's got much more rare. Yeah. It's just so frustrating because it's like, what do you do? Hey, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hello. It's a nice one. Relic autograph. Toronto, Boston, Steve. Vladdy, Vladdy, baby.
It's a nice one. I like that with the jumbo jersey on it, kind of. It's a nice format of the card. Rivera, high number. Laddie, laddie. Uh, laddie always sounds Irish to me. Hi, oh, Laddie. Yeah. That sounds like Scrooge McDuck. <sighs> Tony Gwynn. Plum frame. I love watching DuckTales. Do you I... guys ever watch DuckTales? The new DuckTales? Mm. I still love it. Oh my god, it's good. I watched Paw Patrol the other day, UCCF, for the first time. I had never seen it before. It's true. I like the robot. I like the robot dog. I don't know who's bankrolling these pups. Right? Oh, I loved Rugrats as a kid. Freaking Tony Stark. It might not be quite as good, but it's still better than I expected it to be. I am still really enjoying it. I was mad that they completely changed the animation of the new DuckTales, and then I was like, ooh. ooh I that. love these, the style of these. Uh, Otani for the Angels duel. Boston Steve. So pretty. Yeah, I'm shocked Jules does not have a collection of these purple cards yet. Yeah. I need to start. Yep. Yeah, 2020. 2020 Otani. The new hotness. Ah, Man, I was hoping that would be autographed. Robert, gray frame, rookie. Still a nice card. So nice. Okay, nasty. What wasn't allowed? But they wore out their quota of Otani last year. Two years ago, whatever. Is it Clayton Kershaw to 25? I forgot what these were. The fl flip stock. High gloss or High something. High gloss, yeah, whatever it is. What was the actual term? Let's see. 11 of 25, Clayton Kershaw for Aaron Lee. Like a red robin. Man, I want some campfire sauce. Mm, campfire sauce. I think I'm going to have ice cream after this. I can't remember what those things are called. What is this guy's name? He's haunting me. Zeke? S Zook? UCCF. Teach me. Zick? Calling the pronunciator. TJ. <laughs> I could just say TJ. Probably make me sound better. Yeah, I have zero idea. And I know I mispronounced it like four times yesterday, so. We'll go with TJ. TJ for <laughs> Toronto. Chief. Goof Troop was good. One. You could look it up. Man, you're getting feisty, UCCF. What has come, overcome you lately? You used to be sweet. I'm going to talk with Mulva. Kirby Puckett. Plum frame from Minnesota. Oh, you are not. I, you're starting to get a little tood, sir. <laughs> little attitude. Boisterous. Yeah, I don't know where this came from. Cantankerous. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. Copping tood in the I don't know if I like it, young man. I might like it. I don't know. I haven't decided. <laughs> well, I like it. I might like it, actually. I, don't know. I haven't decided yet. Just unexpected. Rendon DK original. <laughs> uh, I moved the camera again. Gavin Lux rookie. Motivated to be sassy. Oh no! Don't be one. Don't motivate. You be motivated yourself. Don't try to motivate other people. Charlie Keller, 
plum frame. I don't need. I can improve if I try. What are you talking about? Yeah, last pack. Last pack of the break. Last pack. Pete Alonso sad 2061. He's like, oh, this one's over. But it's okay because there's hey, going to be another. We can do one more of these later in the week. Once we get everybody's happy packages out the door. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Hold on, hold on. See what happens when I start talking? I don't sort, I don't top load. Now everybody's waiting on me. Yeah, you see, I want you to be motivated to be better. It's encouraging. I do everything around here. Ugh. Okay. Gross. Um, okay, so here's some things. Don't try to make me be a better person. Here's some things. And here's some things. Yeah. Let's go with it. Okay. So hit recap for our timeline mixer number one for Panini Diamond Kings. <laughs> a Frank Thomas, six of seven. Looks like a blue hollow, 205 autograph. We had a Kyle Tucker. That one is, what am I trying to say? 205, numbered 9 of 25, Kyle Tuckerado. We had a Vladimir Guerrero relic autograph. A TJ Zeke. And a Urius. Can't get these in the frame. Uh, rookie signatures, 15. Out of 15, Dylan Peters, Hollow Blue, a Zach Collins, to 99, Logan Allen, uh, Barreto, to 99, to 299, Carson Kelly, to 299, Hoffman, a Justin Dunn, more materials, a Bichette Quad, that one is numbered 20 of 25. Dual patches, 45 of 49, Dakota Hudson. A Bat Kings, Fernando Tatis. Chris Bryant. Jersey Kings, Greg Maddox. Carlos Correa. Jersey Kings, Tony Gwynn. Jersey King, Juan Soto. A dual Otani relic. Ortiz, Judge, and Rosario. Had, do we find out what this is called? High gloss or flip stack or whatever you want to call it. 11 of 25. Kershaw. Artist proof Gallagher to 99. Artist proof Carpenter. Artist proof Kyle Wright. Uh, and a Jose Reyes. Crowning moments. Artist proof. Diamond Kings. Crowning moment. Artist proof uh, Beltre. Black and white. High number Bueller. Black and white. And Duhar. High number. Robert. Gray frame and a Marte. How do we say this? Pareto? Pareto? Yeah. Art. 